Hi, my name is Sushant Verma. I'm the co-founder of RatLab Studio. I'm an architect, computational designer, and an educator. Our studio, RatLab Studio, focuses on design technologies such as computational design, parametric design, and uses that in various kind of projects within architecture, interior design, and product scale. I did my undergrad studies from India itself, uh, my bachelor's of architecture, and after that, I moved to London did my postgrad from architectural association a school of architecture in london where i developed my expertise in design technologies and emerging technologies of that time i also worked in a robotics company which had an expertise of uh, building robotic facades in london itself for a short while and post that i worked with zaha hadid architects in london which is one of the most prominent practices across the globe at, at zaha of course i, I gained uh, an immense experience in understanding large scale architectural projects and how we can use parametric design and computational design on large scale projects. After that, I got an opportunity to move to Los Angeles to set up a studio. This was with my partner Pradeep Devdas. So we both moved to Los Angeles and set up our exhibition space and studio for six months. Uh, did a lot of experimentation, developed some adaptive facade projects and presented that in Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York. During that time, I also was involved in education. Being an educator, I was doing a lot of workshops in Italy, in Taiwan, and of course in Los Angeles and London as well. In 2015, I decided to move to India, which is when we started RATLAB's Delhi office. And this is pretty much the headquarters for RATLAB Studio, and it has grown from, uh, you know, a two-people organization uh, to 15, 20 people variable organization. But 2015 onwards, I think we pretty much became uh, very active in the architectural space where we started to use uh, design technologies, computational design, parametric design in the mainstream architecture and art projects. RATLAB primarily has worked on a collaborative model where we collaborate with other architects and designers, plug into their firms as a back-end technology support. So we used to call them parametric design consultant, we used to call ourselves that. And nobody had heard of that term again at that time. Today that term is still very common. There are a lot of people who are taking a parametric design consultancy for a lot of studios. But I think this is something which we really started at that time. And it kind of became a part of the culture where architects are now very confident in getting us on board or getting other consultants on board to facilitate and uh, you know, I would say catalyze a project in a much more advanced way by using computational design technique. We don't expect all the other architects to understand design technologies in the same way possible because we have a certain expertise in this domain. And I totally believe that it has to be a collaborative way of working. For this, this year what we're doing is we recently started something called as a subscription model where people can subscribe to RATLAB, pretty much how you subscribe to, you know, Netflix or other platforms basically. So it's pretty much like subscribing to a technology service. Uh, we're the first architectural service in India, which is a task company, technology uh, as a service, where people can subscribe to our support services and we can facilitate on their projects, be it interior projects, facade projects, building skins, understanding the efficiency of the buildings, climatic analysis, and all sorts of other things that computational design has to offer. We try to support them on various projects of any scale and uh, kind of develop this co-working and collaborative uh, nature of working. So that is something which is extremely new to the profession and I think we really believe that this is going to be a game changer for the next few years to, to follow. Collaboration becomes extremely important, sometimes with the client as well, sometimes with other consultants, sometimes with the other architects that we work with. With clients, it becomes, you know, something that new that we have faced recently is that clients usually come with a vision of that they want the building to stand out. They want the facade of the building to be very iconic. And uh, we're doing a lot of commercial projects where we're doing unique facade because of its visibility, because of the lighting styles that we can develop on the facade, how we can have the facade play a more dynamic role in shaping the brand language of the building. So I think that's where our role as parametric facade designers come into play as well, wherein we can implement a cost-effective facade for a particular project and reshape the project and rebrand the project into a very innovative and futuristic uh, one. So I think in the facade space, we are exploring a lot of projects such as we're doing a lot of mixed-use 
projects in Hyderabad, uh, we're doing a few in Gurgaon, we're doing one in Pune. Uh, so again, Pan-India is spread out and uh, what we find fascinating is, I think maybe five years down the line, we would pretty much have a lot of built facade projects which kind of contribute to the emerging skyline of new India. And I think that's the vision that we have strongly, that we are able to contribute to the new India and are able to leverage design technologies with a very global perspective. And I think that becomes extremely important for us.